around about 6 a.m. We are making our way to the train station. We look so beautiful. Yeah, we, <laughs> I we had a rough night. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're actually excited first time uh, going by train in Ukraine. Sick rhymes. And um, let's see how the comfort is in these trains. Um, we heard a lot. Best yeah. case, great. Worst case, no, no um, air conditioning or so. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's just five hours. It's okay. Yeah, five hours, easy going. Woo -woo. And let's see how actually the train station looks. So this is the train station. It's platform two, so it's supposed to be there, but yeah, I don't know how this works here. So we actually made it into the train. It's, uh, it's a very good train. It's really good cool track. Yeah. It's really modern. You, you yeah. don't hear too much noise outside. The air conditioning is okay. It could be better because there are a lot of people here. It's really comfortable. It's comfortable. The landscape is beautiful. And um, yeah, it's a high speed train. It's probably the best train in this country. <laughs> <laughs> We're going like one. 20, 130 an hour. It's good, it's very good. So now we're gonna spend here the next uh, five hours. Five hours, yeah. See ya. So we made it to Kiev, to the train station, which is actually huge, like the platform is like a kilometer long and we actually don't know where to go now, but everyone goes there, so... Okay, amazing, we're here, let's take the metro and go to... go somewhere. <laughs> That's what I was searching for. Yeah. <laughs> it's way different than Lviv. There's like no old buildings, no old. <laughs> That's why we're here. For all of these blocks, we're here. <laughs> Okay, so without air conditioning, it's already really hot in here. Like, really wet, hot. Here's the key. Here's the key. We are on the 22nd floor. We sleep here for again like 10 euros so nice. a night. And it's like, it's, it's, it's like, like Soviet style. Yes, it's like... It's Soviet. like really hot in here. Fuck. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? We have, uh, yeah, two beds. <laughs> and so it's that we have a dinosaur television, and we have a great uh, uh, picture of Kiev. Two glasses for the vodka. <laughs> no smoking. Oh, 
we yeah. have an old telephone <laughs> with uh, with this stuff, you know, and um, the view is really yeah, you can see honest. now. I know the view is um, it's pretty good, but it's hot. <laughs> it's hot in here. Can we open the window? Yeah, let's open the window. We can. Is, <laughs> like. In, in German, we have some safety measurements here, so you can't open that far up the window like this. So, oh, that, but that's good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. have a look down. Yeah, quite high. So the last thing I want to check is the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this toilet which looks a little bit lost. It's like a chair in the middle of the... <laughs> and then we have this old <laughs> bath tube. That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> and now I need new shoes. Yeah, Christian needs new shoes because it's uh, his, his shoes are like smelling oh. like shit. <laughs> Where is What's the smelling? radioactive trash? Who does this shoe cover? Oh, Und einen Trennungsanzug bitte noch. Stimmt, das auch noch. Und eine oh, Geile. Alter, ja, ja, das stinkt schon. Das stinkt schon ordentlich. Hast du Schüsse? Boah! Ist das scheiße! We got the kebab for. 55. 1 Euro 90 Cent. <laughs> And uh, Christian wanted to pay with the check crowns, but. Yeah. Wrong the guy was currency. like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to fuck me? <laughs> okay, let's let's try. Is it any good? Hmm? Yeah? Hmm? Great. It's different from what I know, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jiro. Super. I mean, they fit. Ich mein Stück. Ja, die könnten etwas schöner sein, um ehrlich zu sein. Ja, wo ist das für ein Euro, Alter? Oder war das? Und jetzt fahren some shoes for 20 Dollar. Why? No, no. Why? I take these. Ja. This? Ja. Thank you. Ja. Ah, die Pure Bosch. Our room is gonna smell like heaven again. <laughs> impressions it, it feels like post-soviet country like yeah, it feels it feels Russian. very very Russian yeah. I know Ukrainians won't, don't like to hear that yeah. but <laughs> um, in comparison to Lviv it's uh, way different and um, more Russian speak many people Russian. speak yeah. Russian you have these uh, Brezhnev Khrushchev and Stalin era blocks and um, Maybe in the city center it's different, probably is. Um, so, looking forward to this. But now we're gonna get a uh, watermelon <laughs> for 15 cents. Kiev. We made it to the center of this country, which means the center of the country of our travel. Yeah. We made it. Why we and don't have a vodka here? Yeah, we don't have only vodka, have we have uh, only water. This is the Maidan, where the demonstration happened back then uh, when the revolution took place in the city. They died a lot of people down there. Um, there were shootings from the police and uh, demonstrators and um, yeah in the end I don't know how to summarize this because um, it's quite difficult but 
yeah they ain't gonna be dependent on Russia but they also aren't like free yeah so it's kind of a strange situation but um, we don't know what the future brings uh, Yevgen he told us yesterday that uh, he's optimistic about this and um, I guess that's the best idea for Ukrainians to be just optimistic and to keep on going um, to think that the, the future is bright right it's always so we found the memory wall of the fallen defenders in the Russian Ukrainian war it's um, yeah you can see here from the 18th of March till June who died people had like 20 years young soldiers old soldiers old um, yeah generals and stuff so rest in peace let's make peace and not do war guys okay So behind us you can see the old uh, famous monastery of uh, Kiev. It's humongous and beautiful. You can see on the roofs, these, uh, the roofs are like these typical uh, orthodox. Yeah, the orthodox church has these roofs. Actually the Ukrainian orthodox church is quite uh, separated from the Russian one because they actually accept the Pope as their head of state and uh, which is quite something special for Orthodoxians. Yeah, let's go in. you probably saw some some takes of the city of the old buildings of the pretty beautiful um, monastery here in Kiev and um, I just wanted to to let you know that you can still see that this city was once in the mid medieval ages um, one of the richest in the world and the Kievian Rus, from which Russia, the name Russia, um, comes from. Um, the Kievian Rus was so big that uh, for many people here it's still the biggest country in the world that's ever existed. So Kiev was rich of trade um, between Europe and Asia. It was, uh, it has a good position. Um, yeah, but you can still see that after after these medieval ages it went yeah, it, le it went a different path the Soviet Union Russia, the Turks they all fought in Ukraine and there were many different um, influences in this country and I think Kiev is quite a good example for this you have um, these old churches you have um, these old buildings then you have the Soviet buildings um, in the south you have some oriental um, influences and um, yeah in Kiev you have a lot of all of this it's just great to be here and after being in the monastery it's it's a weird feeling you, you feel I mean, I can only speak for myself, I feel 
calm totally calm because there was like this peaceful atmosphere inside of the church and just amazing So this is uh, actually Ukrainian money, this is called the Rivne and it's like um, 10 Rivne is like 30 cents roundabout and um, then you have uh, this, this is Kopimok, uh, it's like cents of Rivne so one Rivna is like 100 of these uh, Kopilovs. But then you have a coin which is like 10 Grivne, which is the same as this. Why do you have a coin and a banknote for the same? I do feel. <laughs> Yeah, we are, we are living the Ukrainian lifestyle. <laughs> That's a stereotype. To the be thing honest, is, no. we didn't drink yeah. that much, but it's yeah. just hot outside. Yeah, exactly. But to be honest, it's like... Maybe there were a few homeless people we saw, but it's not like that there are many like really antisocial people, like really weirdos or so. It's actually... No. It's a stereotype, I would say so. It's really, really beautiful place. Yeah, till now it's like safe as everywhere in Europe. Like it's nothing unusual. Definitely. We'll see how it goes in Eastern Ukraine, especially <laughs> when we're going near to the um, war zone. Like if we can do this. But yeah, till now it's good. It's very good. <laughs>